Well, once the plant schedule has been drawn, it's a very simple matter to extract the quantity information from that and put it into a file that you can load into your favourite spreadsheet. That's done by simply selecting Extract Plant Schedule and you immediately get a dialog box and uh, we can put that file, the extract file, somewhere where we know we can find it. Let's put it on the desktop and we'll call it Plant Schedule Extract and it will be in what's called comma separated format, CSV format. Oops, if I spell that correctly, it would be a little better. Plant Schedule Extract is going on the desktop and we can save it. Now, what I'll do is start a couple of different spreadsheets and load that file. So if you start Microsoft Excel, you can go File and Open and open it up or use Data and Input. And I'll show you how that's done next. Well, here we are in Microsoft Excel. This is Excel 2010. Make sure you're on the Home tab here and just click File and Open. We're going to open that file that we've generated. What you need to do, you'll probably find that the file list just says All Files. Change that to Text Files and make sure, of course, you're in your desktop area and you'll find the CSV file. So just open it and we can double click on the boundary between B and C and C and D and there's our list so to add up the total number of plants which you might want to do you can just auto sum and then you might have some maybe another spreadsheet with some costing information and size information so you can put the costing for each of these species in here and add it up but that requires a little more work in the Excel environment. Can you see how you can get information out very, very easily, this quantitative information? All spreadsheets in common use will import comma separated files. So here's Google Docs spreadsheet, which is a free spreadsheet. So it's just a matter of saying import. I'm going to choose a file from my desktop and I'll scroll up to the top because I've got this in date order. We've just created plant schedule extract and we open it up and we get a preview of what it's going to look like. And then we'll say um, separate a character. In fact, would be comma, uh, but we'll just see how we go with automatic. So we'll import it and. And he says, why isn't that showing? Oh open now. I did not see the little prompt there. And there's our spreadsheet. We have to do a little bit of uh, reorganizing of the width of the columns. But you can see we have all the data we want and we've got functions to sum up and calculate extra numbers. So this works very, very nicely. So it doesn't matter what spreadsheet you're using the data from GCAD Plus can be brought into that spreadsheet and be manipulated. And your skill level, of course, in your particular spreadsheet will be a little higher than mine in this, this one here. I'm used to double clicking on that boundary between the two uh -huh, and, and it should work. And in fact, it does. So Google Docs is, is mimicking uh, Microsoft Office quite well. So I hope that helps give you an idea of how you get information out. There are lots of other GCAD Plus tools in that drop down menu that also generate CSV files and you'd handle them in exactly the same way.